Hello and good morning or afternoon, depending on when you're watching this video. My name is Steve Brewer. I am an Aviatrix Solutions Engineer. And today we're going to review how to convert over from a NAT gateway in AWS for egress over to an Aviatrix Secure Egress Solution. But before we do that and jump into the configuration, I wanted to show you what's already pre-built and then we're gonna walk through the scenario here on this whiteboard. So I've already pre-built our VPC that we're going to use today. We've also deployed a test instance running Linux. There's also a route pointing all internet bound traffic to our NAT gateway currently. However, with this current solution, we're not getting a lot of visibility at, at the NAT gateway for our network traffic, and we're not really able to secure it by any type of policy action. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a secure egress solution, leveraging Aviatrix distributed cloud firewall and apply it to one of the Aviatrix gateways. At that point, we're going to change the route table and point all internet bound traffic to our Aviatrix gateway for inspection and visibility. Lastly, what we'll do is we're going to delete this NAT gateway as it's no longer being used. Okay. With that said, let's jump into our AWS console and see what's already pre-built for us. So I'm under VPCs here, and right off the bat, I can see our egress demo VPC is pre-built. It's available, looks like it's up and ready. If I come down to NAT gateway, I should also have a NAT gateway deployed. Perfect, sure do, looks like it's available as well. Lastly, I'll come up here to my internet gateways, and yes, I do have my AWS egress demo VPC, internet gateway attached and ready to go. Okay, so let's jump over to EC2 really quick. Make sure our instance is up and running. Looks like it is, very good. The last thing we're gonna look at is the route table associated with this test instance. And I saved myself a couple of clicks for video purposes and already opened it up. And so down here at the very bottom, you can see that my default route is pointing towards my NAT gateway currently. Perfect. Looks like everything is built how we expected it to be. And let's go into Aviatrix and start making our changes. So the first thing I'm gonna jump into here is Aviatrix Copilot. If you're not familiar with Copilot, it's a way for you to manage and deploy your Aviatrix solution. So the first thing we have to do is we have to deploy a gateway into that VPC. So I'm gonna come under airspace and gateways, and then finally under spoke gateways. And here's where I would deploy that new gateway. To save us a little bit of time, I've already gone ahead and deployed it, but I did wanna show you how simplistic it was for me to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this plus spoke gateway, and I'm just gonna call it example. So we're not actually going to deploy it. We're gonna deploy it in AWS, but you see my other choices here in terms of clouds. If I come under account, I'm gonna grab my AWS account. I'll grab the region, the VPC that I wanted to deploy to, and I'll just choose two, T2 micro for my instance size. I'll come down here and attach an instance to a subnet, and I'll say, let's allocate a new IP address. That's it. That's all I have to do from a administration perspective. At this point, I would hit save, and our controller would push out a new gateway to this VPC and configure it for us automatically. I'm not gonna do that at this time though. I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel because I've already done this uh, previously, but great. We have our gateway deployed. Let's start defining our security policy for egress traffic. And the very first thing I need to do is come down here to smart groups. And smart groups are a way for us to define security policy firewall policy, if you will, without relying on just source and destination IP addresses. We're gonna leverage uh, AWS tags in this example, but there's many different ways that we can define a firewall policy leveraging the smart group. So I'm gonna come up here to smart group. And the first thing I'm gonna do down is come down here and drop down this carrot and look at my different CSP tags that I have available to me. And just looking at this really quick, I don't see the one that I wanna use. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel really fast. And we're gonna jump back over to that EC2 test instance that we looked at a few minutes ago. We'll come over to tags. 
we're going to add a new tag and we'll call it demo egress. And I'm going to hit save. All I have to do at this point is come back up to Copilot and effectively hit this little button, which is going to go out to AWS, grab all, all the new tags that have been created since the last time we fetched them and pull them into the Aviatrix solution. Okay, it just took a second and it looks like we're ready to go. So under smart group, I'm gonna go ahead and name this test smart group. And under conditions, I should see my new tag and I do. I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And you may have noticed that under resource selection, we went from zero to one. If I expand this out, you can see that we are now defining this smart group with our test instance, right? Due to that AWS tag. And that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. So I'm going to hit save. And now we have our smart group created that we're going to leverage within our distributed firewall policy. But before we do that, we have to create one more construct for our egress traffic, and that's under web groups. <clears throat> Since we're going out to the internet, we're going to define a couple of domains that we want to be able to access. So let me just do a test web group. And let's define three quick domains. So I'll do github.com. I'll do microsoft.com, all with wildcards, of course, for this example. Then I'll do uh, google.com. Now I could do URLs if I want, but just for this example, we're just going to leverage domains. Okay, I got my three defined. Let me go ahead and hit save. And now I have my two constructs that I needed in order to define my distributed cloud firewall policy. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll come back over here under rules. And the first thing I want to point out is that we have an any, any rule basically saying we're going to, to deny that traffic. So we're going to add one to the top of it so we can pass some traffic outbound. We'll call it test rule. Under smart groups, we're going to grab that smart group we created earlier. Under my destination smart groups, I'm going to select public internet because right, that's where we're headed to. Under web groups, I'm going to select that web group we just created with those three domains. Now, at this point, what I'm effectively saying is that any instance that has the tag we created in AWS in this smart group going out to the public internet to one of these three domains, I'm going to permit that traffic. Perfect. So I'm going to save this in drafts. I'm going to give it one more glance and hit commit. Okay. Now this rule is now pushed out to that Aviatrix gateway that we deployed a few minutes ago. However, none of this policy is really being applied because our route table in AWS is still pointing all default traffic to the NAT gateway. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to come up here to the gateways again, and we'll go back to that gateway we looked at initially. And if I come over here to settings, I have an option for, for source NAT. Effectively, what source NAT does when I toggle this on off switch is it's going to change the route table for me inside of AWS to point all traffic from the NAT gateway instead of that NAT gateway, over to our Aviatrix secure egress solution. So let me go back over here and look at that route table one more time. Let me just refresh my page. And it looks like my default route is still heading to the NAT gateway. So let's go ahead and flip this toggle button and hit save. So now if I come back over here to AWS and hit refresh, what do you think my target will be? There we go. It's automatically changed our default route going outbound to our Aviatrix secure egress solution. And now we are applying our policy that we created to all internet bound traffic, and we're getting visibility into that traffic. At this point, I could come over here to my NAT gateway, select it, and I could effectively delete this NAT gateway because it's no longer being used. Okay, well, that's all I had to show you for today. If you would like a deeper demo if you're, or if you would like more information, please reach out to your Aviatrix representative. Otherwise, I really appreciate your time. Thank you.